Good morning, and welcome to St. Catherine's as we celebrate the Feast of the Assumption of Mary into Heaven. Our song for this morning's Mass is Father Dennis, and let's sing and sing together our opening song, Hail Holy Queen. of Mary into heaven, and uh, whenever I hear that song, I can't help thinking about Sister Act and Whoopi Goldberg singing that song. Uh, you know, she, she actually kind of jazzed it up even more than Phil does, but uh, I just, it's a beautiful song to Mary, and it was really kind of a hit with the movie, too. So, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And as we celebrate our Mass today, uh, I think all of us have been watching uh, on TV the tragedy in Maui that's unfolding, uh, all the people that have uh, died and uh, maybe even haven't been found yet, uh, those who have been injured by the flames, uh, those and so many people lost their homes and businesses. So let us remember them in our prayers in a special way at this Mass. And as we begin our liturgy today, we celebrate Mary, the Holy Mother of God, who provides for us a model of obedience and humility, who intercedes for us as Queen of Heaven. And so, who stands ready to welcome us to eternal life in the presence of the Lord? So now, let us seek the Lord's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you have done great things for us. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, your mercy reaches to every generation. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are prompt in forgiving. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. God in the highest, and on earth, earth peace, on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for glory, glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father. Glory 
to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace to the people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, the Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, mercy on us, and mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer, receive our prayer. You are seated for I meant the Father, and mercy on us, and mercy on us. Glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. pray. Almighty ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that, always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the Ark of the Covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet, and on her head a crown of 12 stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth to, de to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert where she had prepared, where she had prepared a place by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come in the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed one. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead also came through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ all shall be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ, the first fruits, then it is coming those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he subjected everything under his feet. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah. So there in the land of Moab, Moses, the servant of the Lord, died as the Lord had said, and he was buried in the ravine opposite, wait a minute, you know what, I skipped, I flipped two pages over. It's like, I wasn't reading this this morning at 6.30. Okay, Mary, let's try again. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah. Now I turn to the right page where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at that moment, the sound of your greeting reached my ears. The infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers and to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. And today we commemorate the death of Mary and her, her body assumed into heaven before there was any decay. And this is a feast day that points also as a foretaste to our own bodily resurrection at the end of time. The documents of Vatican II, the document on domantic constitution on the church speaks of Mary and says, in the bodily and spiritual glory which she possesses in heaven, the mother of Jesus continues in this present world as the image and the first flowering of the church as she is to be perfected in the world to come. So that pointing to the world to come and that perfection of heaven. Likewise, Mary shines forth on earth until the day that the Lord should come, that second coming at the end of time. And as a sign of certain hope and comfort, for the pilgrim people of God. And we are those pilgrim people. And Mary is a sign of hope and comfort for us. And I'd like to tell you a story about that sign of Mary as hope and comfort. It's something I came across as I was reflecting on and preparing my homily for today. Um, there's a book that was written and was published back in 1952 called I Believed. And uh, the book is written by a Douglas Hyde, an Englishman, okay, an Englishman, who was uh, part of the Communist Party in England and a former editor of Britain's communist paper. Well, he, this guy Douglas Ryan, uh, Douglas Hyde, would read up about the Catholic Church in order to tear down and criticize the Catholic Church in his writings in this magazine that he helped to publish. But then something happened. 
as he read more and more about the Catholic Church. And he writes about this in his autobiography. It's called I Believed, published in 1952. I mean, is it still currently published? No. Is it available like on eBay as a used book? Yes. And he writes and tells this story that the more he read about the Catholic Church, the more he became convinced of this truthfulness. But he could not yet bring himself to believe because something was holding him back. And one day when he was going to work in London and taking the uh, his daily commuter train. I'm probably in London, it's the tube, right? And when the train arrived in Alley Place Station, he saw a sign that he's seen a hundred times on his way to work. It, the sign was St. Ethel Rita's Catholic Church. So when he got off the train this time, he decided to go into this church, this Catholic church. The Catholic church that he would criticize in his communist paper. And when he arrived, he sat in the last pew, wondering what strange power brought him into this church. Well then, he saw a teenage girl come into church. And that girl walked down the center aisle and went straight to the statue of Mary. And as this girl passed by, Hyde noticed that she had a very troubled look on her face. What the girl did was kneel down at Mary's feet and stayed there for a long time. She was praying. And then, after that long time of kneeling before Mary, she got up and left the church. And as she did, Douglas Hyde noticed that the troubled look that she had on her face was gone. She had a look of total peace. Well, now when she finally exited church, uh, Douglas Hyde decided to do what that girl did. So he went to the statue of Mary and he sat and he knelt there and looked into the face of our Blessed Mother. And he wondered how to pray to Mary. And these are the exact words that he wrote in his book. I believed. How did one pray to our Mary, to Our Lady? I did not know. At last, I heard myself mumbling something which seemed appropriate enough. When I began it, but it petered out, becoming miserably inappropriate. But it did not matter. I knew my search was at an end. Outside the church, I tried to remember the words I had said and almost laughed as I recalled them. They were the words of a dance tune I knew. Oh, sweet and lovely lady, be good. Oh, lady, be good to me. Now, I have no idea of that song or what that song is about, but for this person, a secular song all of a sudden struck him 
Uh, and that was the song or the verse that he used to pray to Mary. Oh, sweet and lovely lady, be good to me. Isn't that a beautiful, but it was a beautiful, simple prayer. And indeed, Mary, our mother, is a sweet and lovely lady. And she will be indeed good to us. So today, we celebrate her at her feast of the Assumption. She is the promise that one day we pray we will be where she is now. And not only do we look into the future in our own mortality, but here on earth, we also remember Mary as a source of help to us. As we struggle to win that race of faith, and that race of the crown of glory of heaven as she now enjoys with her son, Jesus. So what I'd like to conclude, not with that song, Oh, sweet and lovely lady, be good, but why don't we just pray the Hail Mary. And let's look at Mary as we pray to her. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. O sweet and lovely lady, be good to us. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, come substantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in glory, in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Mary intercedes for us at her son's right hand. Let us join our prayers with those of our blessed mother, our greatest model of faith. For the church, that Mary's acceptance of God's will may be a model for us as we accept the daily challenges of carrying out our mission of life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that through their policies and budgets, they may help lift up the lowly, fill the hungry with good things, and extend mercy to those in need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For mothers and expectant mothers, may they look to Mary as an example of devotion and strength in carrying out their vocation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for doctors, nurses, midwives, and all those who exist or ex expected mothers in bringing new life into the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all military, police, firefighters, and first responders, may they be kept safe from all harm, we pray to the Lord. For the people of Maui, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all religious living and deceased who remember in a special way at this Mass, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the sick, especially Mary Ritter, Sarah Fitzpatrick, Margaret Kenny. Mary Jo Beto, and all those listed in our parish book, bulletin and book of prayer, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And for our dearly departed loved ones, especially Bishop John Manns, that they may rest in the peace of Christ, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and salvation, Mary's acceptance of your will allowed your promise to Abraham and Abraham, to Abraham and Sarah, and all their descendants to be fulfilled through your son. May she be a model to us as we offer these prayers to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And there will be a collection taken up today. Sing this the maiden, whom he chose as mother, nine months she waited, bearing Christ our brother, think of her Matko, uh, that brings tears to my eyes because so many of my family, uh, that's the song that was sung at their funeral. It's a song that many Polish people sing uh, to marriage, particularly in, in the time of a funeral. So pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father, May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, 
May our hearts aflame with the fire of love, constantly long for you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today, the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your church's coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all light. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is... You know, I don't have, oh. Now, this is just a good mass here, because at first I flipped the page, and now I got to get the host, I got to get a host out too. So hang on here, all right? And at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave me thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the uh, chalice and once more gave me thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Lays, our Bishop, and his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. God, behold him, takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
the body, Christ. Okay, you go in the middle then, okay? The body, Christ. The body, Christ. For those who might be praying the Mass at home, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you to my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Ah! Uh...